Hey, welcome back! Finally, the Lego Mini Siggy's nose. <laughs> The Mega Minifigures Series 23 has landed in Australia. Australia took us a whole month after the rest of the well, probably not the rest of the world, but it felt that way. But yeah, so we finally have these, and I spent some time standing at the box, feeling all the bags, have getting weird looks from people around me. But I cannot. <laughs> I think that I have got a full set here. So let's find out. This is very exciting. I just love the minifigures. So I mean, one day we will get a full set of mini dolls. No, we probably won't. But I'm just gonna keep. I mean, we're gonna turn these into mini dolls. This is how. I roll every time I'm going to see how the costumes look on mini dolls. Speaking of which, it is a whole costume series and it's such a western traditional centric kind of costume thing like there's Christmassy things here, there's a Thanksgiving turkey and there's other generic costumes but it is quite heavily weighted towards winter and Christmas. There are a lot of minifigures in that style. So anyway, where are we going to put that? I'll put it over here. Right, so the first one, the first one that we've opened here is a Christmassy themed one. It's a little green elf, like a teeny little elf. <laughs> this is really cute and I don't know why I bother trying to build them on the black base plate because I really don't care. I get rid of those really quickly. So we got two face choices and this hair piece is so cute. It's got little rubbery orange plaits that are like they're like Pippi Longstocking style. Oh my gosh, imagine Pippi Longstocking mini dolls. This paint's pretty rubbish though. That's not a great print there but I assume that's so they don't snap off the, the um, rubbery rubbery plaits but this oh my goodness V are you ready for this I was so excited when I saw this it's a tiny printed gingerbread house and this little pointy bit this is actually this was actually how I could tell what was in this bag this little pointy triangle because you can feel the little bits in the corners of the bag and this was really yeah really easy to find <laughs> wasn't it wasn't even looking for the big snow globe part look the globe's got snow printed on it I looked for that second once I found the pointy bit so it was really fun so you've got the cutest little elf and a snow globe with a gingerbread house and you get a spare gingerbread house. I mean, I think that's pretty good. Like it's pretty stingy often with these sort of things. Sometimes they're stingy and sometimes they're not. So I suppose it evens out. So two tiny gingerbread houses and a snow globe and an elf. And now we have to see, we can mini doll this really easily because in last year's Lego Friends advent calendar, we got elves, little micro doll elves. And how adorable is this with this hair piece on? I mean, the pants could be brighter green and I could paint the ears so it matches up with the skin tone. That would be easy enough. <laughs> I'd fix up that other paint on the hat. But how adorable does this look in mini doll form or in micro doll form? Come on, Lego. Just these costumes, just they look so good on mini dolls too. Even if they're not designed for them, they still look really cute. So let's find out what we have next. We have 12 of these. I just love this. It's my favorite thing to do. It's the snowman. I can tell by all the colors i.e. like white. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize this was actually a costume headpiece. I thought it was a big round head bit. Anyway, so we have got white pants. We've got a white top, obviously, because it's a snowman with little black buttons. There's no printing on the back, but it's, once again, it's supposed to be a snowman, so it's supposed to be white all the way around. And this is going to be their head, but there's actually a minifigure head with, oh, that's... <laughs> That's ironic. So he's a snowman sweating inside the snowman suit because it's so hot though. He should be cold because he's a snowman and that's the like irony. I love the irony of it. Got his scarf and let's put his... My goodness, this is so cute. <laughs> and then there's a hole for his carrot nose. We can see his face at the moment. This carrot looks stumpy. Is this what carrots always look like? Like the carrot... The carrot peas? I don't know. But look how good this is! Ha! And he has a top hat. Oh my goodness. I just love this so much. And a broom. And a broom is an accessory. Which is so cute. <laughs> and another spare carrot. That looks weird. But this is really easy. We can make Olaf, right? Let's have a new look for Olaf. Because we basically got... He won't stand up. We basically got a snowman body already in mini doll form. Oh yeah, their noises are different. So we got a brand new carrot piece. That is a random thing to make a new carrot piece for. So it's not like the unicorn horn anymore. It's now, you can actually, it looks more carroty. Interesting. I wonder what you can do with the fact that now it's stumpier. Anyway, let's put this now onto, look, it's a new look for Olaf. That's so adorable. <laughs> Give him the broom. Oh my gosh, that looks better than the original. Like he's so roundy now. He's a proper little roundy snowman. <laughs> All right, already loving this. Already saying they look better in the mini doll micro doll form. 
Okay, third one. Oh, this is double bagged. Actually, that brings me to a point. There's apparently from now on, the mini figure series are going to come in little uh, paper boxes or cardboard boxes. But are they then just going to have little plastic bags inside them? They're supposed to be in the cardboard boxes so that you so that they are you know more environmentally friendly but are they then just going to have plastic bags inside the cardboard boxes do the mario ones that are already like that do they have plastic bags inside because i don't know how you keep all the little pieces in anyway let me know in the comments if you've bought any of the mario minifigure buildable things because i haven't and i don't know how it all works but this is a green dragon and i'm not terribly excited by this green dragon simply because i already have a red dragon that is exactly the same so like it's just done the red dragon in green for this minifigure series and I'm gonna put them side by side in a minute. I think the red dragon has black horns but I think that's the only difference. So okay this is not easy to actually mini doll because we don't have this bright green color in mini dolls so I've got an interesting concoction here of pants that I've painted myself and a nice you know wintry top but I'm trying to get the tail on on this upside down that's never gonna work these obviously these tail pieces don't work so well for mini dolls but if you angle them just right when you're taking the picture you can't really tell well, you can kind of but you but you can still make a decent looking costume if you just kind of turn it to the side see can't really see that there's this big gaping side bit <laughs> still happening there see so this still can work for a mini doll <laughs> you can but let's have a look at the red one so side by side with the <laughs> there's both angry I just love that we have angry faces now in mini doll too we need lots and lots more facial expressions and lots more quirky mini doll characters in fact that's why a whole series would be really perfect anyway I'm gonna put green and red up here and just looking so splendid side by side and we'll find out what's in the next bag because I'm having too much fun it's the robot I don't know what's happening with this robot I need to we need to have a chat you need to tell me first up it's a uh, pale blue and bright orange and these are colors we don't see in mini doll definitely not together I don't, can't find any outfits so there's they've got these two colors together it's not one you see a lot so this is gonna be hard to mini doll eyes but I wonder why <laughs> wonder why I'm trying to put that costume on before I put the head on. Really loving the fact that a lot of these are female too. There's quite a large percentage, yeah, it's supposed to go this way, a large percentage of this, or the good ratio of this being female. This is like, is this like <laughs> cut on the dotted lines? Is that what this bit is? And that's why she's looking so like concerned because she has to cut on the dotted line or she's got two pairs of scissors. I'm just not sure what the story is with this robot costume but it is really cute it is very very cute we got yeah spare scissors but let's see how we go yeah these colors together are hard but I do have blue pants and an orange top and I'm hoping just the orange sleeves will show because we don't really want to see the don't really want to see the acorns because that's gonna ruin the effect so who just I really wish I had a proper orange shirt but you know we'll just kind of suspend our disbelief here for a little bit and we got orange arms we got a blue blue pants and and this works the color scheme works and because it's on a mini doll now there's this big gaping space around the sides which is normally a bit annoying but it also means that these big boxy costumes you can turn their heads and you can actually angle the doll which is really fun so yeah that's a little bit of versatility that you don't have on a minifigure because it just fits splat playing on the minifig next one <laughs> I don't even know how I managed to rip it like that <laughs> it's very very talented got a red stick got some oh it's the weenie this is a this is cute this is like a little a little knight but it's a girl themed knight so we've got or rather well a knight who prefers pink doesn't have to be a girl but in this case it is a girl and though wouldn't it have been fun if lego had to put a little boy in the pink costume i mean when are we going to start doing that we put girls in blue can we put some boys in pink that would be it's time start pushing against those stereotypes I mean I know this knight now is pushing against the stereotype having a girl as a knight in the pink but still we can push this even further so very very cute this is very very cute and even got the shield with the same uh, emblem that's on her uh, chest piece or but this is my favorite part of all her trusty steed <laughs> the hobby horse this is the first time we've seen a hobby horse in lego and i love it i want multiple of them i don't know what i'd do with them maybe put the head in somebody's bed scare them <laughs> no but let's turn this now into a mini doll which is not easy because we don't have gray as a regular mini doll color uh we've only got this outfit and we're gonna cover it over here with this really big 
<laughs> bulky chest plate, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. It's supposed to protect you. Now it's extra cumbersome and protecty. <laughs> I don't know quite how. And there's not a lot of arm mobility when you put one of these onto a mini doll, but we can move the arms up just a little bit. Can't turn their hands. So that's always a bit of an imposition, but look, that's adorable. They are, this is that's so cute. The hobby horse is just so, well, oh, hold on. Hobby horse is spending some time on the floor. We'll just fix that. Hobby horse has come back after its adventure. And now we have got a little knight in mini doll form. That's so cute. Next one. <laughs> See, isn't this a great series? I'm just, I don't know. I don't know if I can pick a favorite yet. We'll just have to see what, what they look like when they're all, when they've all been mini dolled and find out. So this is a popcorn costume. It doesn't seem to have any accessories. So we got plain ready reddish brown pants, plain white shirt, and a popcorn costume. That's it. No accessories. That's a bit. <laughs> That's what, you know what I was saying before about how sometimes Lego rips you off and sometimes they give you lots of extras? Mm. Yeah, so this time we're just gonna put our popcorn outfit onto we've got the right colors here we've got white arms and the reddish brown bottom and that looks really good the eyes are poking through at just the right height this makes a really good mini doll costume that's fantastic <laughs> it's really simple but it works really nicely next one ah uh, oh oh now this is the little, I mean, this is the main focus on the front of the bag is the little fairy. It's sugar, like, it's sugar, I keep thinking, it's a sugar plum fairy, right? Is that what it's supposed to be? Because it's like, she's got, a, she's a dancer. It's got a ballet tutu, got a ballet tutu. She's got sprinkles on her shoes. It's a proper tutu. Look at that. That's really, really nice. Look at that, all that sparkle. Yeah, proper tutu sparkles on the front of her bodice. And the wings have got sparkles on them too. I feel as though the pink wings I already have don't have those sparkles on them. And two face choices, both with sprinkles. So that's nice. Let's give her extra glee because, I mean, I'd be extra happy if I was covered in sprinkles in a fairy costume. And for the first time, a white tiara. This is very nice. So white tiara on here. And this is why we all came, not for the extra white tiara, but, well, that's pretty good, but because there is a candy cane, a new candy cane accessories. <laughs> oh my goodness, I may have bought two of these. Two of these, yeah, sugar plum fairy dolls. That's what it is. Do you know though, we don't have a single tutu, like a proper tutu or a dance outfit in the mini doll theme or fairies, which are, and I know they're traditionally girl-esque type things but you get them in minifigures we don't get them in mini dolls and I'm assuming that's because Lego wants to try and push away from gender stereotypes in the mini doll themes but by not giving us a choice you're actually reinforcing the gender stereotypes I mean little girls should have a choice of knights and race car drivers and fairies and ballet dancers and all of the things as should little boys and big girls and big boys I want all of the things in all of the themes so give us some fairies and tutus in mini dolls thanks <laughs> Lego please and thank you that's my little rant for the day okay next one <laughs> okay all right so what do we got left oh my goodness now this is just once again reinforcing not my gender stereotypes but reinforcing <laughs> Not them. Reinforcing the thought that the the, the the fairy is the nutcracker. Nutcracker. No, the sugar plum fairy, because this is a nutcracker. My gosh, I'm getting so bemused. I'm having trouble with, with getting words. So we've got the nutcracker. We've got his little epaulettes. He's got a great face with bright pink cheekies. So, so cute. And the nutcracker hairpiece. I actually made a nutcracker mini doll at some stage for my Too Much Christmas build. Actually, there was more a toy soldier. So now I could make a proper nutcracker or I'm going to have a go at doing a proper nutcracker in a moment. But first up, let's give this dude his walnut because that's what he's supposed to be cracking. So a new printed walnut round tile. Very, very nice. And he's, he's holding that. He's got his sword and we have two swords, two epaulettes and two walnuts. So that's very, very handy. Some nice spares in this set, see? But to turn him into a mini doll is pretty easy. The only problem is we don't really have that we have a brown handlebar mustache instead of a black one. I've just lost the head around the back here. Let's find that again. Uh, and we don't have the pink rosy cheeks, but it wouldn't take too much painting to actually <laughs> turn this into a nice looking 
Yeah, nutcracker face, though. I can't help with the epaulettes and the fact that they spin around your shoulders, but I don't care. I'm putting them on there anyway because it just looks hilarious. It kind of looks like over an oversized epaulette. <laughs> Look, let's give, let's give my mini doll version the walnut. See, it works. It works fine. You can very easily make this nutcracker into a mini doll. He's so cute. He's really cute. I like that. I want a whole nutcracker themed. I want to make, ooh, I would like to make, I could make Clara. <gasps> we should have like the Rat King. The Rat King would have been such a good addition to this. So this is the wolf. Instead of having a wolf, we should have had the Rat King to keep going with the Nutcracker theme. That would have been so fun. But wolves are fun too. I feel as though we've had a wolf minifigure before in the minifigure series. I think it might have been a zombie wolf, I think. I love his blue oh, blue overalls. He's got two face choices and one is blowing the little piggy's houses down. So I feel as though this is, should have been with the three little... Oh, i got extra cat hair. <laughs> got extra fur on the wolf. Should have been some piggies in this too. So we have a wolf like the three little pigs wolf, quite obviously. This is cute. And his sack has got some patching on it. This is really nice. I love the facial expression on it. I don't think I can do justice to this, making 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 this wolf into a mini doll. But I'm going to put Mia in here with her blue overalls. And I think if I just painted her arms grey, I reckon I could get away with this. I think she we could do a decent a decent wolf with just these, yeah, with these, with these overalls and like paint her arms like furry grey. Would only take a little bit of work here to make a really good mini doll wolf. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take that one. That one's okay. Oh my gosh! Look at this like, little tugboat. It's a tugboat costume, like the pilot, like the plane costume and the car costume. So I suppose it's probably more than a tugboat. It's kind of like a little Titanic. <laughs> a little Titanic. And we have got the ship's captain wearing it. And look, oh, his arms just fit so snugly in on the front. He's got a nice big bushy white mustache. I'm not going to be able to replicate that in mini doll form. And he's got his captain's er, his captain's hat and an extra one of his little red lipstick pieces. So how are we going to do this? I can do the outfit okay. And I do have we do have an older an older mini doll look, but he doesn't have a mustache, but he does have white eyebrows. So that's going to have to cut it. We'll take his bald cap off, which I just love so much. It's adorable. And put this cap on and he looks as though he's now totally bald, but that's fine. And to put him in here, we just need to put him in on an angle. And I don't know whether this is going to work. That arm, <laughs> that arm position looks natural and super comfortable. Let's try it maybe on the other side. Slightly different angle. Is he gonna sit in there okay? I think I can kind of wangle him in here like this. Yeah, look, see, now he's just got that red bit sticking right up his nose. But maybe if I just turn his face a bit. Look at that! Totally plausible! And uh, look, there we go. We have made a tugboat captain costume. Is that backwards? I think that's on backwards. No? Yeah, no, I think he's on backwards. That's fine. He'll be all right. Okay. No, maybe he's not. Next one. Another double bagging. This is the oh, the Thanksgiving turkey. Actually, feeling this one in the bag was really, really obvious because that tailpiece is so hard and it's like a almost a right angle. It's a very, very obvious thing to feel. So let's have a look. We've got the legs and the turkey tail gobble de gobble and the ah oh, yeah okay the torso's got like yeah wings so <laughs> I can't do that in mini dolls this tail is really really sublime Ooh, a really angry face I'm really angry that it's Thanksgiving or I'm really actually he looks a little constipated if you lean him just a little bit forwards look at that he looks uh, constipated he's got his got his pumpkin and uh, yeah to match with your autumnal theme and I can't I don't know whether I can do this in mini doll I mean I don't even have these colors I don't, I don't have wings. <laughs> we don't have wings. We're missing so much. It makes me sad when I can't make a turkey out of my mini dolls. So if I try and put this tail on a mini doll, I have to put it on an angle and it's going to look, yeah, I can't, I cannot sell this. I, I just can't. There's no way that I can make this happen because the tail needs to be flat on and even the headpiece looks weird and I just, look, that, that's all I would be able to do and it just it doesn't cut it. We're gonna have to keep the turkey as a minifigure. I cannot make 
a turkey mini doll. I'm super sad. Not out of the parts that I have. I would have to make some serious customizing go on to make a turkey mini doll. Right, so you can hang out up here with the mini dolls looking very, very cross. And we are going to open up. Is this the last one? The last bag. Oh, this one's so cute. So once again, Christmas themed. This is a reindeer costume. Oh the little tail is printed onto the back and the headpiece has actually got little gap teeth like with the diastema between the teeth I've never seen that before I think I don't think I think it's new I've seen braces before but not that and it looks so so cute on this on this reindeer and brand new pin accessory like a hair accessory the reindeer ears. So I'm just really dying to try these out on lots of different things. But this has also got so many good parts. We got a printed heart gingerbread cookie in a gift box. Look at that. <laughs> just knocked the reindeer over in my excitement. <laughs> and we get an extra cookie too. So you can hold this cookie. Can you? Kind of. Can't, no, you can't. Well, I can kind of balance it on your hand. These heart shapes don't really fit on your hand. But we could hold it in the hand if we wanted to. This is really cute and I'm yeah going to try out these antlers now on Anna's hairpiece because I mean I can't do a reindeer outfit but I reckon Anna's outfit would look actually pretty good with the rest of the reindeer outfit and look how good those antlers look on the hairpiece. That's really really nice. This is so fun and all I need to do is swap over the headpiece and let's see. Look at that. I mean that that totally works. I mean it doesn't look like a reindeer you'd see out in the wild. Looks like someone dressed up as a reindeer, but that's the whole point. They're a costume and I think that this works all right. So let's get her all set up with her, with her parcel, her lovely present with the heart-shaped gingerbread. That's really, this is such a cute series. This has been my favorite for a while. Look at all these mini dolls <laughs> in their costumes. Can we please have a dedicated mini doll costume series or just a dedicated mini series so we can have some cute wacky things going on in mini doll form as well. I feel as though mini dolls are like the the embarrassing cousin that Lego doesn't want to talk about. So yeah, give them some special treatment Lego. I'm watching you. <laughs> All right, we've reached the end. I had so much fun. I was a little bit loud then. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what your favorite costume was and which one you're trying to pick up. And I will be back with another video really soon. So I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.